Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel, The Unplanned Life, where I show videos about how I do not plan my life. On July 31, at about half past four in the afternoon, I decided to move out of my then current anti-planner and move all information and other things from the notebook and notebook cover I was using into the new notebook and notebook cover that I have prepared to use next. This green one from Hobonichi on the right and the notebook inside it is the current one and one that we will be moving out of. Now I have made a video of me making this notebook using limited resources during the height of the lockdown and I will leave a link in the description box. The one beside it to the left is the new one I'll be using. Now I have a video of me preparing to move into this notebook and notebook cover and I will also link it down below. And on one of the pockets right there I've already placed a set of the transparent sticky notes that I use as tabs that you can see on the four edges of the new notebook and also on the old notebook. Now I'm just going through this new notebook cover making sure it's okay and I saw some small stains or more smudges and I used a wet wipe to clean them away. I admit I am a little nervous about using a notebook cover that has such a light and bright cover on the inside because I'm afraid to stain it unlike the dark inner material of the previous one as you can see. After that smudge is cleaned up, I started transferring the items from the pockets of the old green notebook cover into the new yellow notebook cover. I have this small transparent ruler under the brand Orion's. I love this brand. I have been using I have been using these rulers since high school. I also have the two different sized protractors and the smallest one is in one of the pockets of the new notebook cover at the moment. This yellow sticky note is an original post-it that used to be square, but I cut it into two smaller sizes to fit my actual use for them. Then we have my business cards, which I have to update, by the way, because of my new Facebook page and Etsy shop. And uh, here's an old receipt that I have to archive. And one tiny pink sticky note that fits right inside the small pocket over here. These smaller sheets of paper are what I use when I am scrawling down some details of a dream while I am still very groggy and then I just paste them onto the pages of the journal sections of this notebook when I am more awake. And more small scraps of paper for dreams which will go into this pocket. Now I made this small folder from a bigger folder and it houses some of my Tomoe River sheets that I have printed faint yellow lines on because the notebook that I am moving out of is not made with fountain pen friendly paper. I have mentioned that in its own creation video so when I want to use fountain pens in this notebook I paste the Tomoe River sheets onto them and then proceed to write with a fountain pen. And now that my new notebook has Elias paper that has rules on them. I don't need this folder anymore. Now that the notebook cover is empty, I can take out this actual notebook out of it. This is the notebook, the blue one that you see here. You have seen me make this on video. I have to say it stood up pretty well to heavy use. I started using it in May 1 and now it's July 31 so that's three months and the notebook did not fall apart even though I wasn't using the good thread and I didn't get to stitch the spine properly as you will see in that video. Here is a sheet of a translucent folder that I cut down to size to protect the inside of the notebook cover. I also did the same thing to the new notebook cover by the way which you will see in its own video which I will link down below. And now it's time to clean the old cover and cover on cover. First I used a wet wipe to get rid of the easier smudges. These are most likely from the softer grade pencils that I have been using and the material of this notebook cover is easy to wipe clean. But the pen loops are made of actual fabric and I do use these pen loops a lot so when I tried to wipe off the dirt it wouldn't come off. 
So I got serious about cleaning. I took out the cover on cover and dealt with that one first. I used a wet wipe to wipe the entire plastic, all of the surfaces, including the inside of the folds. And to wipe away the wetness, I used this pink microfiber cloth. By the way, this cover and cover is from the 2017 store and it has the year embossed at the bottom of the spine as you can see here, which I purchased together with a dark teal notebook cover, my very first one, and I will link the unboxing video down below. I believe that the year 2017 was the last and final year in which the Hobonichi company stamped the years onto their cover on covers. The ones they sold after that no longer had the year stamped onto the spine, so I'm glad I actually got at least one cover on cover with the year embossed on it, and this is what I plan to use with my new notebook cover. I used to have another cover on cover already put on it but I transferred that cover on cover to my father's notebook which I will make a video of as well. Now that the entire uh, inside of the cover on cover is all cleaned up, I put the cover on cover on the new notebook and then wiped the outside of it as a last step. Then I simply placed the ribbon markers on the pages where I need them to be. Now the Hobonichi cover already has two ribbon markers, but I added two more ribbon page markers, which you will see in the video that I made about preparing to move into this new notebook cover. It's linked down below. Okay, now I have to clean this green notebook cover before placing it back into storage. This pen loop over here has a stain and I don't know what it is. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but the ends of the ribbon markers are also a bit dirty because I hold them several times a day for the past three months. That is bound to get dirty. I was prepared for that. And to clean everything that needs to be cleaned, I used some powdered laundry detergent and some water and mixed them in a cup and... I used a soft brand new toothbrush. This toothbrush will be for use exclusively in cleaning all of my notebook covers from now on. And by the way, my table that you can see here is shiny because I laid down one layer of 16 gauge clear plastic over my standing desk inside my bedroom because I have decided it's more comfortable for me to work in here instead of in the other table outside of my bedroom. So that is the reason why I am doing the cleaning of this notebook cover right on the table with confidence that it's not going to affect the actual table. This was quite a tedious process, but when I was sure I could see no more dirt or stains on those parts, like the, the two pen loops and the edges or the ends of the ribbon markers, I went to the bathroom to rinse them under running water, and now here we are. The inside has gotten a little bit wet. But it's okay, it's not completely drenched. Now this particular notebook cover has the standard waterproof material for the inside, but the outside part, the one with the floral print, is made of actual fabric, so I was very careful not to wet that fabric too much. After I took away the excess water with a towel, I placed the notebook cover in front of an electric fan for about an hour, and here it is now completely dry and clean. The pen loops are as good as new and so are the ribbons and I am happy, happy, happy with the result. Finally, it's ready to go back into its original packaging. And here it is. The label says Petite Fleur and that is the name of this particular notebook cover which was from the 2019 store which I purchased in September of 2018. I put some information on a sticky note in which I have written down the dates in which I have used that particular cover with a note that I have cleaned the item before placing it back in storage. And so here we are with a new notebook in its cover and cover on cover and I can finally write down a start date on the first page which would naturally be the 1st of August 2020. I am using my super favorite fountain pen of all time which is the Pelican M400 White Tortoise with the extra fine nib which I have had for several years. I have a video about my per 
perpetual stationary favorites and I will link it in the description box. As for the old notebook, I also wrote down an end date for it on the first page which is 31 July 2020 and also archived in it the last loose sticky note that I have used during an errand within those inclusive dates. I still have some space left at the end of this notebook to journal in and later on on that same day I did write a journal entry saying goodbye to this notebook that has served me well for the past three months. I'm really excited to continue my journey of my unplanned life using the anti-planner for the next I don't really know how many months. So I have to say goodbye for now. Petite Fleur notebook cover it is time for you to rest with your sisters alphabet maze cover and elias paper notebook your turn is up thanks for watching bye